Have you ever gotten those desperation coupons from local restaurants? Now, they call them a good deal coupon. And basically what they are is half off. So you buy a, a $15 certificate type coupon and you get $30 worth of product or service or food or whatever the coupon's for. I call them desperation coupons because that restaurant or that business is so desperate for your business that they're willing to cut their price in half. And that's always a good sign that that restaurant or that business is months away from failure. And just the other day, one of the local restaurants that my wife and I go to a lot, it's a hamburger place, started marketing uh, these desperation coupons on Facebook. And so, you know, you can buy a $30 certificate for $15. The problem with those types of coupons is that the business is not making any money. Now, there's not a lot of markup in restaurant business. If, if you've ever worked in restaurant, you know it's very little. So to shave 50% off right off the top, you can tell that they're not going to make any money. Now, for a consumer standpoint, you're thinking, wow, this is great. I'm getting a great deal. Here, here's the thing. When you see these types of coupons, don't buy them. Okay? Go to the restaurant and pay the exact amount that they're asking. Support them any way you can. The reason I tell you this is because if it is your favorite restaurant or your favorite business, you don't want them going out of business in the next few months. You want you and your friends to continue to support them at their regular rates, not their discounted rates, not their half-off desperation coupon rates, the regular rates. Go in there and spend the 30 bucks or the 50 bucks or whatever you want to spend, but make it so that it's the regular amount. Otherwise, the people that are buying these coupons, the consumers, are usually the ones that are going there anyway. And now they're getting a better price, which it's great. We all want to save money. But every time I see a, a business run these desperation coupons, like I said, months away from failure, and I hate to see businesses fail. So if you're a restaurant, and you're running these desperation coupons, call me. We'll help you figure out a new strategy because those are terrible. Those coupons, mm -mm. they take away from your bottom line, and I'm going to tell you, they're bad for your business. For consumer, yeah, it's great. But from a consumer's point of view, I want you to be in business for a longer time. I don't want you going out of business in the, in the next few months. So when you see these desperation coupons, don't buy them. Go to the restaurant and say, look, I want a, I want a gift card I want to give to somebody, but I want to pay the full amount. Or I want to dine here, I want to pay the full amount. Anyway, stop using those desperation coupons. No good.